was my mother. Uh, she was the first captain of the Edmonton grads uh, back, uh, I think they started in, uh, I think it was 1915. And uh, I, as a boy, heard all of the stories of the grads and how, how well they had performed and how they'd become internationally known. And uh, so I guess I just learned from the the young, young person to believe that maybe I should play basketball and do the best I could. We went uh, to Chile to a World uh, Championship Games and that was probably the highlight of my playing days uh, was, was playing there. We uh, ended up playing in a round robin with Mexico and Brazil and Russia and uh, in the round robin, uh, three teams had two wins and one loss. Mexico lost all three, so they were uh, ousted out. Um, uh, in the last game, we played Russia and won by nine points. Had we won by 13 points, Russia would have had to go to the consolation round. As it turned out, we went to the consolation round, which said the best we could place was ninth. Russia went on undefeated and became the world's champs. Uh, so we were pretty close and we were pretty pleased with the accomplishment. We started with the decision to go with a zone defense and we started with a 2-1-2 a configuration as a zone and we were getting beaten pretty badly early on. And our center, who, who was an extremely valuable fellow, turned out to be also a good coach at UBC, Peter Mullins. He said to the coach, I'm sorry, let's make it a 2-3 uh, zone and you guards will have to run more but make everybody shoot from the outside because I'm getting killed here in the middle. And it, Russia hadn't seen that defense before and all of a sudden their guards started missing and of course we got confidence and uh, so the game changed completely. Instead of being behind, we were always in the lead. And uh, as I say, too bad we didn't uh, quite get a little extra oomph <laughs> that would have put us in over the, the top as far as uh, winning by 13. So we were, I say, it was a very emotional night. The, the crowd, we were playing in a very small city, Tumuco, Chile, right down on the southern tip. and. Uh, the crowd wouldn't let the victory march for the Russians go on. Uh, they all stood and in unison uh, yelled, Canada, Canada. So we had to take an unofficial march around the gymnasium before uh, Russia was given the honor. Feels like I'm a pretty fortunate fellow, a terrific honor. I don't believe that there's many individual basketball players that are there. Uh, it's got to be teams that have done it in the past. Um, so I was extremely honored.